Hello and thank you for joining me. It's been quite a while since I did my last video and I've been dabbling into some art streams and videos. So this right here is a parody of The Exorcist that I did in November and I plan on putting stuff over it right there. That's what I wanted to do, like funny little sayings and stuff. You'll see that in my Etsy shop where I actually go by Lady Liz's World and I'll have a lot of other fun things on there as well. But before we get started, can you please subscribe? That would really help my channel and click the little bell also to get reminded of future streams, which I plan on doing at least three a month, um, depending on how I am physically, since I do have some chronic illnesses. But let's just jump in and I'll tell you what's going on here. This is from my Twitch stream pretty recently where I pulled out some drawings that I did before and some like crappy scratch paper but I wanted to trace them with carbon on a better canvas so I could paint them and color them and get them ready for my shop. So I decided to take the images that I drew in November and trace them with carbon on a multimedia surface paper. Just a little bit thicker because I'm going to be painting it and stuff and I wanted it to be able to take it. I started off by putting molding paste on her face to give it a little bit of an otherworldly look. More demonic, a little monstrous. And decided to go with an almost greenish, almost like her bar from the movie, you know, to give it a little bit of a scary tone of her skin. I am using acrylic paint with this. We had quite the laugh while trying to paint the nightgown because I'm afraid of this movie and I didn't want to look at a picture so my cousin, who's just as afraid as I am, found it for me and sent me a text that I showed you earlier but only really quick because I didn't want to get in any copyright issues but that's the gown I decided to go with. Um, there were several different ones, but I don't know what Nanny is changing her, but I would want to raise. In the end, I decided to go with the blue and the pink nightgown. Because I thought it stood out a little bit better than the white one. This will be digitally enhanced when I finish it for um, merchandise. And it'll have a couple different variants with different sayings on it. And those will all be available on my Etsy, which I will also link below. There may be some subtle changes in the actual digital product that are not the same as um, the original piece, of course, naturally, you know, depending on the sizing and stuff. Uh, it might change a little bit depending on what I put it on. So um, if you're interested, head on over to Etsy and I will link that below. I did want to keep the bed as simple as possible because I wanted the main focus to be on the character which came about because of how grumpy I am when I do not have my coffee in the morning. I am really grumpy until I have my first cup and this is always a running joke between me and my husband. So coming into the final stretch of this little drawing, I'm excited to add it to my shop and put it on fun stuff and different scenarios that we could all relate to. You know, we're all okay with not being a morning person or I can't start my day without my caffeine and other fun stuff like that. It was a lot of fun um, streaming this live. I really enjoyed it, the process and I hope you did too. I hope you enjoyed this little um, 
recap of my Twitch video and I will be posting other ones as well. So these are the fun little things that I came up with and they will be available soon. As well as other videos that will be coming in the future. Thank you for hanging out and watching this and I hope you had a good time. I stream on Fridays art streams at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and I also do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for my gaming streams. I will link my website below so you can keep up to date with what's going on with my channel. I love you. Have an awesome and wonderful day. Bye-bye.